a common set of yes that all college students get stressed due to the heavy work, uh, heavy work run, poor sleep schedule, and not enough downtime and poor time management. It leads up being academic of failure. According to the USA Today uh, article, how much do you study? In the interview, Delia Williams, also former free nursing school at Michigan University, she said, coming through high school studying was mem memorization. In college, you see and memorize things, but you realize, you realize Memorization will not help. So level of studying in college and high school level are totally different. College studying are not only differ in that, but also a wide, uh, a wide range of material. Today, I would like to talk about how passive learning strategies lead to an academic failure due to how, uh, how time efficiency they are. Afterward, I will discuss some solutions how we can effectively study. I'm a pre-nursing student. In my major, there there are massive amount of terminology and concepts I need to memorize. It's a challenge understanding and sticking them into my brain. Also, I need to contribute more time because English is not my first language. For the first my college year, I really focus heavily focused on highlighting outline and making a pretty note as much as possible. As you can see, <laughs> even though I spent so much time, like uh, listening the lecture, uh, taking a free notes, and highlighting my outline, it was not enough uh, to like retain the information to my brain. I even cut my sleeping hour by half of it to study more and more. It was depressing because I have zero time to go on dates like with my husband and to coffee shop with my friends. Like, bye. <laughs> <laughs> we are all college students. Maybe some of us are, are working. Uh, some of us are the parents who give us uh, your time to your, uh, your another life. We are our life is so busy and we have so many things to do. To be successful in our college life, we need to manage our time well by studying efficiently. Today, I would like to discuss first why passive learning such as highlighting and taking notes is inefficient and so much time consuming for your study. Second, I would like I would like to suggest the solutions from experts uh, to study efficiently. Lastly, I'm going to cover my solution you can really apply for as a college student to study efficiently. Now I briefly mention what I am going to cover today. Let's dive into the first point. Passive learning, such as highlighting notes, making out making pretty notes are not inefficient. Not 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 efficient. <laughs> uh, it makes us uh, devote more time and which leads us to poor time management. The passive study strategies such as rereading, highlighting and taking notes as not efficient in retaining uh, the information. According to the article, intentional forgetting note taking as the touristic example published on February 2014. Dr. Mitchell, a psychology professor, conducted a 
memory card game uh, experiments. One group really studied uh, about the card information. One group made a note taking about the card to study, uh, to memorize the card information. As a result, there is no significant differences between the two groups for remembering the information of the card. Strangely, the, the study group uh, who didn't make a note has like remembered more about the card location. This research shows that taking notes didn't improve our memorization. The brain is not aware of the information but feel sure because we are writing it down. In other words, even though you consume to take a note, uh, to take a note and make an outline, you need to have extra time to retain the information into your brain. In the article, it, in the article, highlighting and taking notes are e equally efficient when reading paper on e, uh, e text. In the official journey of the technology community on education, found that there's no significant differences in highlighting and note taking. Overall, comprehension was poor when did highlighting in note taking in both actual paper in uh, in e text. Now I have told you about why text learning negatively effect on our study. Let's take a look at solutions you can obtain from the uh, expert opinion. In order to solve the problem in even in effective study strategies. Some expert has suggested the following solution. The first solution is using Pomontro technique. Uh, according to the Barbara Oakley, an American professor on engineering at uh, Oakland University, also who teach how to learn uh, to her students. Uh, she recommends the promo promote the technique to, to study more effectively. Promote the technique is a, a it's time management system that you can focus on your job at a time. You will study for 25 minutes and take a, take a break for five minutes. Uh, uh, in the terms of learning how to learn by Barbara Oakley, the, Relaxation is also an important part of the learning process. During the break, the material from uh, from the study, you, it, it will be the it will be the great foundation to build up with the, another new information. Second solution from Barbara Oakley is enough sleep for our memory con consolidation. According to the science article, sleep benefits memory on sedimentary category structure while preserving experiment specific information, published on 2017. As you can see, the research found that our sedimentary memory skills significantly improved while uh, our while we sleep more when while sleeping while we are sleeping more. Now, I have told you about some solutions for experts. I'm going to tell you my suggestion you can apply for your quality life. Use encoding skill and higher order of learning uh, for your ex efficient uh, study. According, according, according is an iterative process to retain your, uh, your information to the long-term memory. According to the website Human Memory, it said encoding is transforming uh, internal thoughts and ex external events into the shape.
research and long-term memory. It can be a challenge to retain new information to your brain uh, the first time, but if when you're trained, you, you can quickly retain mature information in long-term memory. In a short time, your brain will retain much more information. Another skill for a more efficient study is higher order of learning. Higher order of learning is a, uh, making a big picture. It allows us to chunk information too easily in our, uh, to easily store it into our brain. According to the effect of learning uh, participants on high, high order thinking, and uh, participation, uh, there is a there is a specific difference between the personal learning system and the blackboard learning system. One of fifty students participating in the experiment, one group was given a personal learning system to study a subject. Another group was given a blackboard system, like very in de very depend on the structure. In the personal learning system, each student uh, can group the information better, better from high order to detail, and perform better in higher higher thinking skill test. In contrast to the group that used the peer test, uh, peer test the group that used the Blackboard system, they they perform work, um, worse worse than uh, the group used the peer uh, test. By grouping information we can connect the uh, we can connect the different idea very easily in closing let's level what i have discussed today i discussed how passive learning such as highlighting making notes as inefficient in learning and i gave some solutions you can apply to be successful and efficient college life Today, I, did a, I discussed first why passive learning is inefficient and lead us to a poor time management. Second, the expert solution to make our study very efficiently, uh, such as for module, technical, and enoughly. Lastly, uh, I discussed about my solutions you can apply as college students, such as the like encoding skill and the high order of learning skill. Changing the study method is not easy, but if you keep training your brain like muscle, you can uh, study more e e efficient, more efficiently. Efficiently, uh, okay. Because you deserve to get a good grade, spend time with your loved ones, and most importantly, you deserve to sleep.